Hello, everyone. Sound the trumpets, unfurl the banners. Today's champion spotlight covers a dashing hero. Meet Marius the Gallant. He's a legendary skinwalker, joining the Arbiter and Ramantu Drake's blood as a reward for completing a set number of progress missions. Marius is no regular horseman. Oh no. This defense champion rides into battle with a debuff that was previously only available to raids biggest, baddest bosses and one other legendary champion. Can you guess what it is? His default skill? Auric Lance is an AoE attack that has a chance of placing Enfeeble on each target skewered by it. Yes, that Enfeeble debuff, which you should remember if you've ever fought Akumori the Phantom Shogun. When under Enfeeble, affected champions can only land weak hits, unless stated otherwise in their skill or overruled by something like the Affinity Breaker artifact set. Enfeebling even a single damage dealer can kneecap your enemy's damage output, and Marius can put pressure on the entire enemy team with this skill. Combine it with a counterattack buff, ally attacks, turn meter boosts, and you can be constantly pumping out party-wide Enfeebles. Marius' second skill is called Death or Glory, and it's another AoE attack. Marius lets fly with three devastating stabs, with each hit decreasing enemy buff duration by one turn. This means you can effectively negate most, if not all, enemy buffs with this skill, assuming you can overcome the target's resistance, as this skill isn't technically stealing or removing buffs. Death or Glory is a great way to essentially strip an enemy team's buffs without triggering a polymorph blessing. If that wasn't enough, Death or Glory's damage scales based on the target's max HP meaning it'll pack a serious punch against bosses and the Hydra. Then for Marius's third skill, we have Galloping Thunder, a perfect complement to Death or Glory. First, Marius places a 50% increase accuracy and a 60% increase defense buff on his team for three turns. He then stuns the enemy with the highest turn meter value and gets an extra turn. As the stun targets the enemy who is about to take their turn, you can absolutely wreck the other team's rotation with a well-timed Galloping Thunder. Marius can then ride boldly forward with the extra turn, and tear through his enemy's buffs with death or glory, thanks to the increased accuracy buff. The increased defense buff ain't nothing to sneeze at either, especially when Marius' attacks scale off his defense stat. Next, we have Marius' passive skill, Steadfast Knight. Now, if you thought Marius was strong before, this passive turns him into an absolute beast in PvP. First off, Steadfast Knight makes Marius immune to all turn meter reduction effects and decreased speed debuffs. You did hear me right, I did say all. Next, if anyone tries to reduce Marius' turn meter, or if a mythical champion changes form, Marius will immediately counterattack with his default skill. Remember those enfeebled debuffs from earlier? Yeah, those will stack up quickly if you don't respect this passive. As you can imagine, this passive is an excellent counter to arena teams that focus on lowering your speed and turn meter. Pair Marius with enough accuracy and a little bit of luck, and he can blunt an opponent's opening strike and ensure his team can mount a devastating counter charge. Mythical champions don't get off scot-free either, as Steadfast Knight means Marius can land a clutch and feeble just after a metamorph has taken place. Finally, Marius has an Aura skill that increases his team's defense by 35% in all battles. Coupled with the increased defense buffs from Galloping Thunder and his enfeeble debuffs, he can make his team a tough nut to crack. Outside of arena battles, Marius thrives against bosses and in tricky PvE locations, where enemy champions have high HP or focus on turn meter manipulation. When it comes to stats, accuracy, defense, and speed are the things to focus on. High accuracy is crucial for taking advantage of enfeebled debuffs. Defense will increase Marius' damage and survivability, while speed is always useful, especially when it means landing more enfeebles. Other than that, go wild with gear experimentation, here are a few artifact set suggestions on screen. And we can't wait to see what builds you all come up with. Our recommendation? Equip him with gear that grants him additional counterattacks, or pair him up with champions that can cast consistent counterattack buffs. This will see Marius turning the opposition into a pin cushion with the strength of a wet noodle, thanks to all those enfeebled debuffs he'll be pumping out via counterattacks. And that's all for today's spotlight, my fellow brave knights. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Then sally forth to complete the new progress missions and recruit Marius the Gallant to your cause. Happy raiding!